I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to another edition of Black Excellence and Abundance in Shadows. What would the world be like without black inventors? Mrs. Gladys Mae West was born in 1930 in Sutherland, Virginia in Dinwiddie County, a rural county south of Richmond. West's family was a farming family in a community of sharecroppers. Her mother worked at a tobacco factory and her father was a farmer who also worked for the railroad. West realized early on that she did not want to work in the tobacco fields or factories like the rest of her family, and she decided that education would be her way out. In 1956, West was hired to work at the Naval Proving Ground in Dahlgren, Virginia, now called the Naval Surface Welfare Center, where she was the second black woman ever hired and one of only four black employees. West was a programmer in the Naval Surface Welfare Center Dowgrain Division for large-scale computers and project managers for data processing systems used in the analysis of satellite data. Concurrently, West earned a second master's degree in public administration from the University of Oklahoma. She met her husband, Ira West, at the Naval Surface Welfare Center Dowgrain Division where he also worked as a mathematician. They were two of only four black employees at the time. They were married in 1957. They have three children and seven wonderful grandchildren, who is the pride and joy of their lives. At West High School, the top two students of each graduating class received full-ride scholarships to Virginia State University, a historically black public university. West worked hard and graduated in 1948 with the title of valedictorian. She was initially unsure what college major to pursue at VSU as she excelled in all her subjects in high school. She was encouraged to major in science or math because of their difficulty, and West ultimately chose to study mathematics, a subject most studied at her college by men. She also became a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority. West graduated in 1952 with a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. After graduating, she taught math and science for two years in Waverly, Virginia. West then returned to VSU to complete her Master of Mathematics degree, graduating in 1955. In the early 1960s, she participated in an award-winning astronomical study that proved the regularity of Pluto's motion relative to Neptune. Subsequently, West began to analyze data from satellites putting together altimeter models of the Earth's shape. She became project manager for the CSAT radar altimetry project, the first satellite that could remotely sense oceans. West consistently put in extra hours cutting her team's processing time in half. She was recommended for commendation in 1979. From the mid-1970s through the 1980s, West programmed an IBM computer to deliver increasingly precise calculations to model the shape of the Earth, an epsilon with irregularities known as the geoid. Generating an extremely accurate model required her to employ complex algorithms to account for variations in gravitational tidal and other forces that distort Earth's shape. Mrs. West's data ultimately became the basis for the global positioning system today known all over the world as the GPS. Her brilliant work has made paper maps all but obsolete, 
today. All we have to do is put in an address and follow the directions, thanks to the research and brilliant mind of Mrs. Gladys West. In 1986, West published data processing system specifications for the Geosat Satellite Radar Altimeter, a 51-page technical report of the Naval Surface Weapons Center. The guide was published to explain how to increase the accuracy of the estimation of geoid heights and vertical deflection, important components of satellite geodesy. This was achieved by processing the data created from the radio altimeter on the Geosat satellite, which went into orbit on March 12, 1984. West worked at Dow Green for 42 years, retiring in 1998. After retiring, she completed a PhD in public administration from Virginia Tech. Mrs. West was inducted into the Air Force Space and Mission Pioneers Hall of Fame in 2018. This induction is one of the Air Force Space Command's highest honors. Captain Godfrey Weeks, commanding officer at the Naval Surface Warfare Center, Del Grimm Division in 2018, described the role played by West in development of the global positioning system. She rose through the ranks, worked on the satellite geodesy, and contributed to the accuracy of the GPS and the measurement of satellite data. As Gladys West started her career as a mathematician at Delgrim in 1956, she likely had no idea that her work would impact the world for decades to come. Mrs. West agreed, saying that she had no idea at the time that her work would affect so many. She says, when you're working every day, you're not thinking, what impact is it going to have on the world? You're thinking, I've got to get this right. In 2018, she was selected by the BBC as part of the 100 Women of 2018. Also in 2018, she completed a PhD via a distant learning program with Virginia Tech. She is one who believes in lifelong learning. She is also one of the inspirations for the 2016 hit film Hidden Figures, which starred Taraji P. Henson, Octavia Spencer, and Janelle Monet. And although she helped create the GPS systems, believe it or not, to this day, she still continues to prefer using a paper map over a tracking system, saying she still trusts her brain above all. Mrs. Gladys May West proves that black history is every day here on the Black Excellence and Abundance channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you do nothing else, remember, thou art rich.